It is the 30th of the 4th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Let's go and get started on SOT.net. I only got one story off there tonight. Ferocious storm closes wettest April ever in the United Kingdom. It's the wettest April on record, the Met Office says, and the rain is set to continue. Despite the drought and the hosepipe ban, much of England and Wales was braced for flooding today as further heavy rain continued to wreak havoc across the country. And if Britons needed confirmation of just how wet it has been, newly released figures show the month so far has been well above average rainfall across the United Kingdom, with 97 millimeters recorded, 140% of the long-term monthly average. Over to the extinction protocol, Preview of the summer from hell, question mark. Moscow bakes in record high temperatures in the month of April. Moscow sweltered an unseasonable heat on Sunday with temperatures of nearly 29 degrees Celsius, uh, that's 84.2 degrees Fahrenheit, a record for April since data collection began 130 years ago. Activity increases at uh, Nicaragua's Ma Masaya volcano making noise like a jet engine. Uh, exports reported Sunday more seismic activity at Masaya volcano about 20 kilometers south of Manatunga with an increase in explosions of sulfur gases which keeps the disaster warning system in high alert. Yet another volcano. And uh, they got a bunch of saber rattling and more drums going on too. Uh, one story on the RSOE I wanted to cover uh, off of the coast of Peru, Peru, unknown or unidentified hazard always piques my interest. Peru's Oceani Oceanographic Agency says it will investigate the deaths of hundreds of pelicans in, nor in northern beaches where nearly 900 dolphins were recently found dead. Uh, Peru Fishermen's Association President Fernando Nequin says he, his group found about 1,200 dead pelicans on Thursday and Friday along the 105-mile or 170-kilometer stretch of coastline. The Government's Institute of Sea says it found nearly 600 dead birds, mostly pelicans but also gannets. Also a 43-mile or 70-kilometer stretch. Its regional chief uh, recalled, a, recalled a mass die-off of pelicans and... Uh, Comorants in the same area in 1997 due to the absence of anchovies blamed on the El Nino meteorological phenomenon. Coast Guard officials um, said Sunday that he has never seen so many dying pelicans on the beach in 25 years on the job. Something definitely strange going on off the coast of Peru. Over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start on E&E &E News. Interview, medical doctors working in Fukushima says lots of people are dying, bleeding, losing hair, and having a bad health condition, a.k.a. radiation poisoning. Japan physicians demand answers. 90% of urine samples contaminated with cesium in city 200 kilometers from Fukushima. And I have those numbers. I'll give those to you in a second. Gunderson reveals how to shut down nuclear industry. Uh, he has a, a video, basically he did a radio interview. I listened to it, very informative. Fukushima government, over 35% of young people tested have thyroid cysts or nodules. A most unusual event, birds returning from Fukushima area with troubling symptoms appear not to be able to find food in the North Pacific. I've never seen birds in that poor of a condition come back to New Zealand. Nuclear engineer, Fort Calhoun nuclear plant likely would have melted down if operators were not forced by the NRC to make enhancements before major flooding. And we have a video on that. I got another nuclear expert. All it takes is a coolant is a is coolant to stop circulating at spent fuel pool number four for extensive fuel damage to occur. It doesn't have to leak, crack, or fall for fuel to overheat. And another report out of New Zealand, 33% of prized bird species disappears after summer near Fukushima. Those making it back were in poor condition, says New Zealand's government researcher. And um, 
I did a story not too long ago about the mutton birds in New Zealand about how they're uh, only testing for radiation on the feathers and they're not doing internal testing on a uh, major food source for the local population. Photographer X-ray like image shows how radioactivity has spread throughout the bodies of Fukushima wildlife and how that's not affecting everything else that they're selling to you in the grocery stores is beyond me. Canadian nuclear scientist, another even more dangerous possibility that, than fire at spent fuel pour number four. Reignition of chain reaction can occur if fuel rods move slightly. An accidental criticality. And uh, of course the earthquakes continue in Japan. I'm going to take you over to Daily News uh, Fukushima 119 of 132 people positive for sampling survey of radioactive substances in urine in uh, Awate, I-W-A-T-E city, or the prefecture. And that's uh, where the scientists are alarmed about the percentage rate of contamination. Sacagermia erupted again. Um, Possible underwater eruption of Iwo Jima, Sacagawea erupted at 3:20. Black smoke reached uh, two kilometers above the crater. It has erupted 996 times in the year 2011. Uh, that's the most frequently ever on this uh, very active volcano. And uh, possible underwater eruption in Iwo Jima, and it got yet another volcano going off. That is about all I have for you today. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please attach your comments or leave your videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.